Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about angles and radiant measure. We're starting an entirely new chapter. And uh, so in terms of angles, so far we've talked about them in terms of degrees. Which, just so you know, degrees are not a mathematical discovery or concept. The unit measure of a degree is a man-made concept. All right, Just like the idea of measuring a distance using fathoms or feet or inches, those are all man-made measurements, okay? Uh, now, degrees, 360 degrees, is, is, is really related to the number of days it takes for the planet Earth to rotate, revolve around the, the sun, even though that's 365 and a quarter, and even though ancient cultures knew this, they uh, still chose to use 360 for a number of reasons, primarily because it is easily uh, has many, many factors, things like that. But, yeah, I think it was a Babylonian concept or something like that. But, uh, so today we're going to learn a different way of measuring an angle that is actually mathematically more friendly, okay? And this is the idea. Suppose, suppose, suppose I've got uh, a circle. Ah, no, yeah, oh, is, oh, oh, oh whew, there we go. All right, so here's my, my sad circle. Here's my happy earth circle. It's got like this little, like, whoop-dee-doo, like a baby. There we go. I like it. So, um, so here's my circle. And imagine, let's see, we are in pink here. All right, imagine here I've got a radius right here and right here. And here's my, my angle, right, theta, like that. Now, right, you could say like, okay, this angle is 60 degrees or whatever, right? However many degrees it overlapped. However, imagine, what if I took the length of the radius and I started wrapping it around the circle, okay? So what if I took this length and like a piece of string... I fit it around the circle, and it reached to that point. It turns out that is how we're going to start measuring an angle, is how many times the radius could wrap along that arc, okay, and reach that point, okay? So it turns out that you can wrap, it'd be a little bit less, all right, so here would be like three of those values, three radians, this is called a radian, is the number, one full radian is the length of the arc that one radius wraps, and over here it would actually be a little bit weird. Uh, do you have a guess as to how many radians would fit around a circle one full time? One full. It, uh, it'd actually be around six, and the reason that's true, it's around six, not exactly six. Uh, I'm talking about the circumference of a circle. It's 2 pi, all right? And if I divide that circumference by radii, right, if I divide that circumference by radii, how many times does a radius fit around that circumference, right? I would get C over R is equal to 2 pi, or 6.28, is it 1828? I don't remember. What is the old 2 pi these days? 6.28, sorry, way up. Oh, I was thinking of E is uh, 2.78182818, I think, something like that, but 6.2832, we'll call it, <coughs> is the number of times a radius could fit around one revolution of a circle, okay? That's the idea. So it turns out that this is a, a radian circle. You don't like circles? Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
So one radian, okay, is the length of the arc that one radius would fit. Okay, so this is a radian. A radian. One radian. Okay? Now it turns out uh, because a full circle is two pi radians, all right, so that means, what do we know? We know that 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians. All right, we'll actually end up being able to develop a uh, conversion between degrees and radians. And uh, because uh, one full revolution is two pi radians, it turns out most all of our radian measurements will not be whole numbers, but will be irrational. They will be written in terms of pi. Okay? Interestingly enough. Uh, so if one full revolution is two pi radians, what's the degree measure of pi radians? Half of a full circle or 180 degrees, right? Perfect. Okay. And with that in mind, 180 degrees is equal to pi. What would one degree equal in terms of radians? Uh, pi over 180. Pi over 180? That's going to be valuable. And then what would one radian be? How would you solve this pi radians? How would you make that equal to one? Yeah, you divide both sides by pi, right? So that'd be 180 divided by pi. Degrees is equal to one radian. So 180 divided by pi, I think it's 50 something degrees. That's about 57.2958 degrees is a single radian. Okay? So that's, that's the idea. We end up using this sort of measurement and it turns out that math is kind of universally friendlier to radians than it is to degrees because, like I said earlier, degree, that measure really didn't have anything to do with math. It was just like they came up with a, a measurement length and then just used it. Okay? So uh, with these facts in mind, we can actually convert uh, from degrees to radians. So let's do a couple examples of those. So convert two radians. And if, if we are uh, talented with our units of measure, we should be okay. So what would uh, 90 degrees be in radians? Yeah. So to convert, this is in degrees. What I could do uh, to convert that is if I multiply by pi over 180. All right. I will get pi over 2 radians. which is the same as one-half pi, but typically uh, we'll just leave pi in the numerator of our values. How about 135 degrees? What could I do? Once again, multiply by pi over 180. Hello. No problem. Are you coming to see me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can she take some time? Yeah, if she's if she's willing to, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. Yeah, so it's her call.
So, uh, so what we have here is 45 degrees goes into both 135 and 180, right? So it fits in three times and four times. So I end up with 3 pi over 4 radians, right? And, and think about this. Uh, so I've got pi radians per 180 degrees, right? So by multiplying by that, the degree units would cancel out, and I'd be left with just radians is kind of what, what this is coming from. And if I wanted to go the other direction, uh, convert to degrees, degrees, uh, let's say I have uh, pi over 3 radians. What do you think I could do to get from radians to degrees? Multiply by 180 over pi, because there's 180 degrees per 1 pi radian, right, is what that is saying. And so the radian units would cancel out, and I'd be left with just degrees. And notice, uh, conveniently, pi's cancel here. And 3 goes into 3 once and into 180 60 times. So I end up with 60 degrees is equal to uh, pi over 3 radians. Now, the other way I think about this, if you'd like, yep, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to divide this pizza pi up into portions. So so here is zero degrees, right? Here's 90 degrees, here's 180 degrees, 270, and 360, right? So the radian equivalence of this, well, I knew that zero, zero degrees is the same as zero radians. 180 degrees was how many radians? No? Take a look. One radian is 57 something degrees. Or one pi. Pi radians. Okay? And 360 degrees was the same as two pi radians, right? So if this is pi radians, notice 90 degrees. All right, this, this region here has uh, an angle measure of pi. So if I want to figure out uh, this arc what half of it is, 90 is half of 180, so half of pi, pi over 2, uh, would be this angle, 90 degrees. And then if I wanted to divide that even further, right, 90 divided by 2 is 45 degrees, what's pi divided by, or, nine, or pi over 2 divided by 2 is one way I could ask it. Or I could realize that well, my 45 degree things occur from dividing 180 into four slices. So what's, what do I get when I divide pi into four slices? Well, this would be pi over four. And what would this angle be? One pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four. And notice this is now four pi over four or one full pi radians. Right, so that's the 135 degrees that we saw earlier. All right, what if I wanted to divide this up into uh, six slices? So just the top half I'm dividing up. You guys can go to lunch and divide yours up into six slices. Mm, six slices of pizza. Bye, Internet.